हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डी एन थे वेलकम यू अगेन टू आवर न्यू यूट्यूब चैनल फिजिक्स स्केच तो इन दिस वीडियो तो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू अगेन सॉल्व ए प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन कॉन्स्टेंट इक्वेशन एंड न्यूटन लॉ ऑफ मोशन बट इन दिस कॉन्स्टेंट इक्वेशन तो वी हैव नॉट टेकन ए पुली दे नो पुली नो स्ट्रीम बट वी कैन एबल टू डेवलप ए कॉन्स्टेंट इक्वेशन and the constant equation in this case will be due to the normal reaction which is combining this body and this body so normal reaction r is common for this body as well as this body so the constant equation is summation of reaction force and acceleration for the combined body is equal to zero that is your constant equation to develop the constant equation why constant equation is required So when I will apply the Newton's law to this body, I will get one equation. When I will apply the Newton's second law, I will get second equation. But here there are three unknowns. One unknown is acceleration of this body. Another unknown is acceleration of the body. Another unknown is the reaction between the two bodies. And here in this problem, all surfaces between this body and this body there is a contact. This body and the ground there is a contact. Between the two supports, so here and here, so also there is no friction. That's why it is written that mu is zero in all contact surfaces. So now there is no friction in this problem. If the friction is not there, so now this wedge, this is called wedge. This wedge and this body weight will be falling on this body. When the weight will be falling on this body, this body will go to right. So when this body will go to right. Let the acceleration of the body go to right is equal to a x. If the body will go to right, then this body will come down. Now the center mass of the body will come down. Let the acceleration of body coming down is equal to a y. So why? So why this body will go to right? Because there is a force of interaction. Only force of interaction between this body and this body is the normal reaction. So here there will be normal reaction. This body will give a force on this. So now this is the direction of force. And this force is you know contact force. The contact force is always normal to the surface. So now this is the normal reaction R. This normal reaction is given by this body on this body according to Newton's third law. Action and reaction pair. So now the same reaction on this body will be awkward. It will be just opposite to this direction. So this is also normal reaction. R same thing. Now due to this R, this body is coming down, and it will be slightly opposite. And due to this R, the component of R will give a motion to right. So now the number of unknowns in this problem is a x, a y, and the reaction. To get three. On norms, three quantities. We have to develop three equations. Now the equations are developed. So like this, you just let us proceed how to get the equations. To get the equation, I have to develop a first constant equation that is the relation between a x and a y. Then I will write the relation for what is the acceleration of this body, Newton second law. Then again I will apply this body, Newton second law, to complete the make the third equation. So how I am proceeding? Please follow. So again, you remember. So between these two, between these two, no friction. Three. So this body and this body, no friction. Only normal reaction. Between this body, weight and the ground, no friction. That means always the normal reaction here. This body restricted to move only downward. This body restricted to move only to right or left. But it cannot go to left. Only it will move to right. This body only it will come down. A reaction is R, and this reaction has no role here. Because this body is not moving to right, it is not. It is only moving to right. So this ground reaction upward has no role here. That's why this part I am not showing. While I will be solving the problem. Now to write this constant equation, let us proceed how to solve this problem. Now the what are the things I have to calculate? Again, you remember mu is not there in this problem. So how many unknowns? Three unknowns. One unknown is a x. Another unknown is a y. Another unknown is a r. These three things I have to find out. So now I am going to solution part. Please listen carefully. How to get the solution? The, to develop the constant equation. Now let us 
draw the three body diagram of this body and this body. Let us draw the three body diagram of this body. So I am drawing the three body diagram of this body. Look. So now this is the wedge. Okay, this is the block. Now this is the, now this is the inclined surface on this block. Now this body, this is the center of mass. The center of mass of the body will come down. It will come down with acceleration how much? It will come down with the acceleration ay. So when it is coming down with the acceleration ay, very nicely if the diagram is correct, the direction of forces is correctly shown, so you will definitely get the correct answer. That's why nice diagram always used to draw. So now this is the way now in this case this contact force will be acting here and contact force means always normal to the surface. So here you draw a normal that is the reaction R. This reaction is on this body provided by this body and mass of the body already noted it is equal to m2 given mass is m2 so now how to get the angles in this problem to get the angles in the problem so i have to always at this point you draw a horizontal line you draw a vertical line vertical line is always there so this angle is theta so here this angle is theta if this angle is theta then this angle is theta if this angle is theta, this plus this 90, this plus 90, so this angle is also theta. So now by this way, so alternate angle, corresponding angle, opposite angle, any angle you know, so apply and get the angle. To get the angle at the points, always you give a reference of x axis, y axis. If x axis, y axis should be given, then you can easily get this angle, this angle, corresponding angle. So this angle plus this angle 90. Again, this angle plus this angle 90, this is the common, that's why if this is theta, this is equal to theta. Now, this is the re this actual reaction is upward, but acceleration is downward. What is the angle between the acceleration reaction? So now acceleration is Ay this one, the R is this one. So the angle between the acceleration and the reaction is this angle. What is this angle? Total length 180 degree minus theta. So the angle between acceleration and reaction is this is the reaction. Look, this is the reaction. This is the acceleration. So this angle is theta. Definitely this angle is equal to 180 minus theta. Or the total angle is 180 degree. So this is the angle between two bodies. And the body is equal to mass m2. And the weight of the body is acting downward. If I want to row, so now the weight of the body is acting downward. That is equal to m2g. So anyway, so this is first equation. Now come to this wedge. So when I will go to the wedge, so only problem is very simple. Thing is that whether you are able to draw a very good diagram or not, that depends on the solution. So that's why please draw the diagram carefully, mention the angle, everything correctly, so you will get the solution. So now come to wedge. This is called wedge. Okay, this one is called wedge. W E D E. Now draw the finger diagram of the wedge. So I am drawing the three diagram of the wedge. Now this is the wedge. Draw it with this is the wedge. Now I am showing this angle is already given theta. The wedge is acted upon by a force. That force is equal to R. This one. So now this force is equal to R. R. So again I, I told you. So how to get the angles? Now at this point draw a horizontal line. At this point, draw a vertical line as you like. If this angle is theta, then this angle is theta, corresponding angle. Then this angle is equal to again theta. So this angle because this angle plus this is 90, this plus angle this angle is 90. So now this is R. So this R and this body, this body will go to right with what acceleration? Ax. So what is the angle between Ax and R? The angle between Ax and R is 90 minus theta. This is theta, this is theta. So this obviously, this angle is equal to 90 minus theta is the angle between acceleration vector and normal reaction vector. So this normal reaction will be acting on this body and this reaction is acting on the body because one is action, another is reaction. Action, reaction pair, they cancel each other. Now I have to, I have to apply the constant equation to develop the contrary constant equation so here in the other problem i was taking the constant equation is summation of tension vector dot acceleration vector for the entire system 
is equal to zero. That is the constant equation we have developed for pulley problem connected by the strings. But here the constant equation can be developed on the block and constant is that means the relation between the two bodies developed due to the reaction. So reaction is the uh, support to get the constant equation. So now in this case I will write summation of reaction vector dot acceleration vector is equal to zero. So in this problem we have to apply to develop the constant equation. Now come to the problem here. Now come to first this body. So it is the reaction vector. This is the mg acceleration vector dot product you know what is definition of dot product so already we know that a vector dot b vector is equal to a b cos theta it is the dot product between two vectors a vector dot b vector is a vector magnitude b vector magnitude cos of the angle between a vector b vector so here r vector is r vector is this acceleration vector is this angle between them is 180 minus theta write down for this body it is equal to r acceleration is ay angle between them is cos 180 minus theta this body summation summation means this body as well as this body then plus the reaction is r acceleration is s what is the angle between them the angle between them is cos 90 minus theta is equal to zero. If this is the case, now reaction is same cancelled out. That is equal to a y cos 180 minus theta is minus cos theta. Please go through the trigonometric and check it. Cos 180 minus theta is cos theta. Sin 180 minus theta is sin theta. But here cos is there. That is minus cos theta plus cos. That is equal to so that is equal to uh, r into acceleration i have not written that is equal to r into here i have not written that is equal to r into ax into cos 90 minus theta because reaction into acceleration dot product is zero reaction is r acceleration is ax r into acceleration angle between them is this so that is equal to zero that's why r r cancel down ay cos 180 minus theta is minus cos theta ax and cos 90 minus theta is sin theta is equal to 0 then i am getting that that is equal to ay cos theta is equal to now ax sin theta then i am getting ay is equal to ax tan theta so the value of ay is equal to ax tan theta is the constant equation developed let us note down let us note down this equation somewhere else and that will be using later on so this part the partially i am removing this part so now let us note down that constant equation is that is equal to ay is equal to ax into tan theta is your constant equation over now come to the equation for acceleration the equation of acceleration will be obtained by applying the newton's law to the body m2 to the body m1 then i can able to get the equation of the acceleration once i will get the another two equations then i there are three unknowns ax ay r one equation is over now i apply the newton second law then i can able to get the other equations look how i am getting So this equation I am removing. This part is over, and I have noted the answer what I have calculated. Now apply the Newton's law. Apply Newton's law uh, to this body. This body is going down. It is going down with acceleration ay. Da downward force is equal to mg. Upward force is equal to r. This is theta. R cos theta. So for this body, for this body, summation of force along y. Is equal to mass into acceleration along y. So which force is along y? M to g minus which force is upward? That is equal to r cos theta. R cos theta is equal to mass is m to acceleration is a y. This equation. Then this is equation number. Let's say this is equation number one. Then this is equation number. 
Now, let us take the paper diagram of this body. This body will go to right. So, if this body will go to right, which force is to right? This is the reaction. This is 90 minus theta. So, reaction component, the reaction component along this direction is R of cos 90 minus theta. Look, this is 90 minus theta, this is R. Now, this component is R cos component. It is equal to R of sin theta. So, R sin theta will push this body to right and mass of this body is equal to M1. So, now when I write this equation, what, is the, what will be my equation? The equation is summation of force along x because the body will go to right along x. Summation of force along x is equal to mass into acceleration along x. Then what is summation of force along x? R sin theta. Is equal to mass in how much? M1. Acceleration in how much? Ax. Then what is R? Now R is equal to M1 Ax divided by sin theta. Equation number 3. So I got equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. So all the three equations are developed. Now only to so substitute R value here, substitute A value here, then you will be getting the answer to the problem. Please note down up to this. Please note down up to this. The reactions are there. The free body diagram is with you. Apply the free body diagram. Method of the big this body is only downward motion. That's why net force along y is equal to ma. So who is downward force? Downward force is equal to m2g. This down this m2g is opposite by r cos theta because this r has two components. This is r. This is theta. This is equal to r cos theta. And this component is r sin theta. So R sin theta will be opposed by the support provided both the ends. So that's why this motion is only to rise. So M2G minus R cos theta. M2G minus R cos theta is equal to mass M2 acceleration AY. So when this body will consider, the reaction is R here. This R has two components. This angle is theta, you can say R sin theta or R cos 90 minus theta is equal to mass into acceleration. So that is I make it a mass acceleration, R sin theta is equal to M2x, so R is equal to M, M1 Ax, M1 Ax by sin theta. Once I am getting the value of R, then I put the value of equation 2 and equation 3 is over. Now let us substitute the values to get the final solution. So the solution is positive. Now let us proceed how to get the solution. Now what I will do it? Now I will put the value of R here. Then I will put the value of uh, Ay here, then I will get the solution. From equation 2, from equation 2, so I am writing that is equal to M2g minus R. R is how much? M1 Ax by sin theta, that is R value, this is R value into cos theta. Then you write cos theta is equal to m2, yes, m2 into ay, ay is from this. So ay is equal to ax tan theta. Then this is ax, this is x, let us take to one side. That is equal to m2g is equal to there is m2 ax tan theta. This one m2 ax tan theta. This will go to right plus m1 ax cot theta cos by sine cot theta. Then you take common ax. So ax is equal to m2 tan theta plus m1 cot theta is equal to m2 g. Now the complete solution is mx is equal to this by this. So the solution for the problem is ax is equal to m2g divided by m2 tan theta plus m1 cot theta. Cot, cot theta. So this is the acceleration of the wedge. This is the acceleration of the wedge. Acceleration of wedge. If the acceleration of the wedge is obtained, then how to get the acceleration of the, the bar that is floating down? That is Ay is equal to Ax tan theta. Now that part also we can put here. So already you have all noted down. 
so now i am removing so by substitution by substituting r here by substituting ay from this here then i have calculated this please note down yes completed okay so after getting all the data here now come to get the value of to get the value of ay so the value of ay is equal to how much ax tan theta ax is this much that is equal to m2 into g tan theta m2 g tan theta divided by m2 tan theta plus m1 cot theta so this is the acceleration ay so acceleration ay is obtained so that is acceleration ax is already obtained then now putting the value of acceleration ky ax now problem is my problem is over so the question number so this two this is a very interesting problem so all we should not think that always the constant equation is developed for stream so constant equation is also developed for reaction also reaction is the parameter that will help you to develop the constant equation so if you like this video please like it and share it thank you